What's up Dragon Nation, I'm Rich with Dragon Nation Gaming. Welcome back to Space Engineer Tutorials. Last episode we were talking about respawn ships. This episode we want to talk about the next step, which is production. Now there are three different tiers of production. You can see that I have some stuff set up in the background. We'll get to that in a minute, but let's go ahead and get this started. So when it comes to production in Space Engineers, it's actually very simple. There are three tiers of production. We're going to go over all three of those tiers. The first tier is the first item you will start out with, which is the survival kit. Now the survival kit can also be put onto a small grid. That's why I have this rotor set up with the small grid head so you can see it. So the difference between the survival kit and the other ways of production, the other tiers, is a survival kit can only process stone and you actually have to queue that up the next tier is the basic stuff the basic refinery and the basic assembler now this will automatically process whatever resources you put into it but it doesn't process everything we'll be going over that here in a second so it will automatically process the resources that you get the ores but it's a lot slower as well. It also doesn't produce as much. As much. The third tier is the regular refinery and the regular assembler. Now the regular refinery will process all ores and it's also a lot faster and makes a lot more than the basic refinery and basic assembler do. Now if I go ahead and get out my welder and if you look on the right hand side you'll see the components that it takes to make this. So on the right hand side, st uh, 10 steel plates, actually 30 if you count them all together. Now if you take a look at the small grid one, you'll notice that it takes less resources. Which is not too important because everything on that list you can make with stone. Except for... No, you can. Yeah, you can process stone to make all those components to build it. The only one that you cannot is the medical components. So this requires three medical components. This survival kit requires three. So if you have a small grid ship and you want to go ahead and switch the survival kit over to a large grid, you can do that by processing a little bit of stone and making the resources you need because the medical components use the same amount. Medical components take resources you won't have right at the beginning. You actually have to find them. Now let's go over to this refinery. So this is the components that you see. This is everything that you can make with the survival kit. The survival kit will get you to the point where you can make all these resources and try to get up to the next tier. Now with this refinery and assembler, as I said, it processes everything. But as you can see, it takes a lot of components. Another thing it also takes that you won't have access to with only stone is metal grids. In order to make metal grids you need to find cobalt. The assembler is the same. It requires metal grids which you need cobalt. Now one thing I would like to show you is if we go to uh, survival kit we go over to production. These are the components that the survival kit can make. You have to queue them up first. Now as you see there are only 10 of them. Altogether, I think there's actually 25 in the game. I don't know. We'll see here in a second. So the small grid survival kit is the same. It could do those 10 uh, components as well. Basic assembler. We go to production. You'll see that there are actually more products that you can actually make. Including the cobalt and the large steel tubes right there. 
You can also make some power cells, so you can go ahead and make yourself some more batteries if you need to. Also a detector, which is really good to have on a ship. That's something we'll be going over with. Uh, going over it some other video. Now, if we take a look at the assembler and go to production, as you can see, there's a whole lot more stuff that you could process. So five, well, we'll keep that one out of it. So five, 10, 15, 20, 25. So I was right, it's 25 components. This right here is a data pad, it's not a component. You probably won't use that all that much. So we're not gonna worry about it. Now, if we come over here, what I did was I took 1,000 of each ore and put it into these refineries so that way I could test out just how much they can make. Now, the survival kit, as you can see, all the resources or all the ores are still in this cargo container because the survival kit does not automatically pull what it needs. But the only thing that you could process in the survival kit is the stone. But to process that, you do have to queue it up. So if you come to produ uh, production, this one's called Survival Kit 3. What you have to do is you have to tell it to make this right here. It says ingots, but that actually makes gravel. Now there's a couple tools you do need to know. If you just click it once, it will process only one. If you hold down control and left click, it'll make 10. If you hold down control and shift, it will make a thousand. I'm out of stone, so it's not gonna process at all. Now, in the game right now, there are four different ingots that you can make with stone in the survival kit or in any of the processors. Gravel, iron, nickel, and silicon. Now, with that, you'll be able to build everything up to the basic refinery and the basic assembler. So at some point, I do recommend going ahead and putting these onto your ship, your respawn ship. Now, the basic, re, the basic refinery, if we take a look at the cargo container, as you can see, it pulled all but four resources. That's because the basic refinery cannot process these four items. This is gold, platinum, silver, and uranium. Now everything else, it can process and it pulls them automatically. You do not have to queue it up. So of course we had cobalt, which out of a thousand, that's it. A thousand ore, we only got 210 ingots. With the iron out of a thousand ore, we got 511 ingots. Magnesium out of a thousand ore, we only got 4.9 ingots. Nickel, out of a thousand, we got 282. Silicon, out of a thousand, we got 493. I think gravel. So some of this was from the stone as well, so it's not exact. I'll have to test that out at some point and see just how much we actually get. But out of a thousand gravel, we only got, or out of a thousand stone, we only got 9.8 gravel. Damn, I knew it was bad, but I didn't know it was that bad. Now, the refinery, as you can see, the cargo container is empty because it did pull all those resources. So the refinery can process every ore in the game, except for ice. Ice is considered um, an ore, but it's not really an ore, kinda. But as you can see, with the cobalt, we did get a little bit more. So with the same amount of stuff, if we go over here and check out the cobalt, it was 210 and in that refinery we were able to get 300. So not only is this refinery faster, it's also more efficient. So I'm actually curious to see just how much I got out of everything. So gold is definitely one of those ones you do have to process a lot. Another one you pro probably have to process a lot is uranium. And where's the platinum? There it is. And platinum. Platinum you need in order to make the ion thrusters so you can move through space. Now you could make hydrogen engines and then all you need is hydrogen. But if I'm in space, I prefer to just use the ion because all it takes is power. So that's about everything that has to do with production. Next episode, what I want to do is I want to go ahead and show you how you can at least get to the basic refinery and basic assembler on your respawn ship. But until then, make sure to like and subscribe, all that good stuff. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.